Welcome everybody. This is Don Gennetti, lighting-essentials.com, project52, prosystem.com. And I'm here with uh, Duck Unitas from New Hampshire, Nashua, no, Connecticut. I huh? no, Connecticut. I'm in Connecticut. I'm in Arizona, Connecticut, New Hampshire, Vermont. <laughs> I don't know. East Coast. Just say East Coast. You got pretty trees in the fall. I know that. And really good deals on lobster. Anyway. Exactly. <laughs> Duck is a fine commercial photographer. Um, how long ago did you do Project 52? It was a while, wasn't it? 2014. 2014. Holy yeah. mackerel. Yeah. Wow. Um, I, I, didn't, I didn't think I was alive that long, but uh, it's great to see you. Duck is working uh, as a professional commercial photographer in uh, Connecticut. And what part of Connecticut, sir? Where are you? I'm in Fairfield County right now, which okay. is near the shoreline. Okay, uh, so you're not in a big city. No, I'm actually I, I'm actually in between several big cities. Uh, I am kind of like in the middle hub between Bridgeport, Waterbury, and New Haven. Yeah, so that's cool. I'm in, a, I'm in an awesome location. Yeah, that's the thing about that's the thing about being um, uh, and I would I would consider you kind of a generalist. I am, yeah. Yeah, I think you have to be when you're, you know, when you're outside of New York, maybe San Francisco, mm -hmm. you know, Chicago, maybe. But anywhere else, you've got to be a kind of a general. This doesn't mean you don't have your specialties that you work on, but it means right. you've got to be able to do a little bit of everything. Um, well, Duck sent me this. This is a, a piece he did. This is a promo piece extraordinaire. Uh, I mean, it's beautifully laid out. It's got examples of his work. And I think what I, I like so much about it, Duck, is you help them understand the different uses for photography. So it's all, it's a part, a um, um, portfolio, but it's also a part of a sort of a marketing experience, letting them know what they can do. You're sort of educating them. Right. Uh, yeah, so my goal is that uh, I want to start hitting some of the bigger corporations in my area. I am, like I said, I'm in a unique position where I am situated uh, in the cusp between three major uh, areas. More specifically, very close to uh, Bridgeport, Milford, uh, the shoreline area, which has a lot of industry, and here in Shelton, Stratford, which has a lot of aerospace industry with Sikorsky, uh, and of course, New Haven, which is a me big medical area with Yale University and Yale Hospital. Yeah. So I literally have a pick of whatever I want to do. The problem is that obviously, you know, competition is pretty tough too because there are a lot of, uh, you know, photographers that do what I do. And uh, for the most part, as I was growing my business, I was, you know, taking in whatever I could get. When when you're hungry, you take everything, right? Sure, and you should. I, I, yeah, absolutely, and. <clears throat> It's it's tough because, you know, I have to stress what you stress all the time. You have to go out and you have to make the contacts because you can hang that shingle up on, on the outside of the building. But if nobody knows you're there, they're not going to read that, that sign. They're not going to care who you are. So you have to go and knock on woods, uh, on, uh, on uh, doors. Yep. One of the things that I did... <clears throat> Uh, early on is I, I got involved in some networking groups, but the majority of the quote unquote networking groups in my area <laughs> are networking groups of people who are unemployed trying to network to get employment, which is in one way you can say, yeah, well, as, as a uh, freelance photographer, you're always looking for employment. Uh, but those networking groups aren't the connecting me to the people that I want to connect with. So I shifted gears and I joined the local chamber of commerce. 
which turned out to be a magnificent move for me. I keep and it was timely, this, and no one does it, Duck. I keep telling people it's a oh, well, magnificent place for a start out photographer, and they don't they don't listen. <laughs> all, all right, so so you did a, a couple things. A couple things happened with me that that it just the right place at the right time. The photographer. Uh, the, the local commercial photographer uh, that was in the Chamber of Commerce was retiring. So the chamber needed a new photographer to come in and, you know, work with them doing the uh, ribbon cuttings and the grand openings and things like that. So I said, well, I'm available to do those. And in return, what they do is they waive my membership fee, which, you know, every Chamber of Commerce, it's going to be different. Uh, our, our fee is about, trying to remember, it's about 360 a year, which is not a lot. But because I offer my time to them, they waive that fee. And additionally, I get invited to pretty much everything so I am networking with the people I need to network with. I'm at all the grand openings, I'm all, all the ribbon cuttings, the award ceremony. We just had an award ceremony. And <clears throat> I'm pretty much an introvert. So, you know, networking situations are, are tough for me. I'm not the type of person to walk up to somebody and say, hey, my name's Duck. This is what I do. All right. Uh, if somebody introduces me, uh, I'll blab away, as you can tell. Uh, but for me to actually approach people, I, it's it's a little awkward. So I tend to hide behind the camera. But the thing is, over the years, other people have promoted me, uh, including the local chamber of commerce. And because they see me at these events over and over and over again, that's the best advertising that I can get. People come up to me, and I'm terrible with names. People come up to me, hey, Duck, how are you? Hey, Duck, how are you? And I'm like, I recognize you. I just don't know your name, which is which is terrible. Terrible, I'll admit. Uh, but people know who I am. And people call me, hey, you know, I need headshots for my company. Who are we going to call? Oh, we're going we're to call Duck. I just saw him. Uh, the award ceremony. Uh, one of my clients said, oh, by the way, I'm glad I ran into you. We need to schedule some people for headshots. That's what I did this morning. Four people came into the studio for headshots. Uh, so uh, I'm constantly in people's faces. I'm constantly reminding them who I am and what I do. Uh, the problem is that the Chamber of Commerce is, they have a very broad outreach, but not everybody is a member. All right. So what I decided to do is I, I wanted to be, like you said, be more proactive. But at this point, I want to be a little bit more targeted. I don't want anybody and everybody. So I said, I need to come up with a, a little campaign that's going to allow me exactly. It's going to allow me to reach the people that I want to reach. So uh, I decided, you know, what kind of marketing material do I want to use? And I says, well, if I'm going to go after the companies that I want them to spend money with me, I need to spend money on my marketing material. I cannot look cheap. So I says, well, you know, uh, I'm going to set aside a budget. Uh, I, I want to, uh, I want to create something that's going to want them to hold on to it, rather than circular file it as soon as they get it. And one of the things is, you know, uh, uh, little flyers, uh, you know, the brochures, the three folds, the the single sheet. Uh, postcards, they're very easy to just toss aside. But something like a magazine, that's going to make them think twice about throwing away. They're going to want to investigate it. They're going to say, oh, 
what is this? All right. And hopefully, once they start seeing, they're going to recognize something in here that's within themselves. All right. I, I want I want them to see themselves in the promotion pieces so that they can say, oh, yes, this is what we do. And look what he did for this company. Maybe we should call this guy and have him do this for us. Yep. The re the way this came about. Let me see. Uh, let me pull up the first image. Uh, the first image that I did um, is this one for Enfield Technologies. All right, and what it is, it's a it's a cutaway view. It's a it's a blowout view of the uh, of this particular piece. I approached Enfield Technologies, uh, which is a very good uh, client of mine, and I say, "Hey, I love your products. I think they're they're super interesting. Do you have one that I can tear apart, and you're not going to get upset with me?" So they went into the back room uh, where they do the repairs, and they said, "Oh yeah, here's one. Feel free." And says, "Just realize you're going to get it back in pieces." <laughs> yeah, I can take it apart, yeah, no problem. Putting it back together. That's right, because these are you know these are high tech pieces uh, that require calibration when you put them back together. It says no problem, you know it's going to be torn apart by one of our techs anyway. So have at it. And I did that exploded view, and they they never used it. It wasn't. It didn't fit with their format, but I did it as a portfolio piece. Uh, I gave them use of it. Uh, you know, whether they use it or not, that's on, on them. They've never used it, but it sat on my portfolio. Three years later, I get a phone call out of the blue from a company called Skymira and say, hey, we were on your website. We saw that exploded view. We want you to do something similar with our product. And I featured that in the magazine as well. So from that portfolio piece, I was able to land a paying gig. Of course, now I can't find it. What do I do with it? Oh, yeah, here it is. I was able to land this paying gig. So... Uh, it pays to put in the effort, you know, to build a really strong portfolio and then just put it out there, you know. And the nice thing is that uh, that that particular image won first place in a competition with my local PPA chapter. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with with that result. So anyway, uh I put all those, those, you know, um, I guess you can call them, uh, what's the word, uh, case examples, you know. Yeah. Case studies. Uh, case, uh, case studies. And case, studies. Yep. Yeah. case studies. So it's it's really not, I, I don't put portfolio pieces in. Well, I, I do a couple portfolio pieces. This is a portfolio piece. Right. This right. is not. This is a client piece, you know, for I shot for a local uh, restaurant. Um, so I want companies to, to look at this and say, oh, yeah, those are the kind of images we need. And hopefully it's going to start a dialogue box between me and them. Uh, so the plan is the coming year uh, after the holiday rush, because the chamber is, is busy during the holidays. Uh, uh, come January, things slow down for them. Uh, it's going to be slow for me. I'm going to get together with their people and say, hey, I want a very targeted list of companies. And I'm going to have them make the introductions for me. All right. And it's going to get me in front of the people that I need to talk to rather than just hope it gets there. One of the one of the things about chambers, they're usually B two C man. They're usually consumer based businesses in the chamber, and and I also think you need to get in front of B two B. 
Yes. So that's the trade organizations. So I would say come January, there's got to be a association of mechanical engineers or association of, you know, whatever, right? People who build stuff for other people who build stuff. They're gonna go yeah. nuts. Over, they're gonna go nuts over this stuff. The exploded view and stuff. It's really, really good. Well, the nice thing about our particular chamber of commerce is that uh, they work very closely with uh, the state of Connecticut uh, in the um, in those business to business um, uh, groups. Uh, they're very involved with the uh, the tech and the manufacturing um, here in Shelton, because Shelton is, is a hub for a lot of corporate headquarters. Thule's here, BIC is here, um, Thor, uh, a, a few others. Black & Decker used to be here, but they unfortunately moved out. Uh, so we, and, and of course, in the neighboring towns, we have things like Sikorsky, which is um, you know a big employer in the area, and uh, so we have some aerospace industry here. Uh, not so much the medical. A lot of the medical here is you know doctors' offices, which you know I, I could care less. Uh, but hopefully, their relationships with local uh, chamber of commerce in other areas will also open up some doors. Yeah, I think it's. I think it will. I mean, it's a very nice piece. Just, uh, I want to just touch briefly. Um, did you use InDesign to create it, or did you build it within like Blur? What did you? First of all, did you use Blurb or one of those printers? Uh, I did. I did uh, use Blurb. Okay. Um, to to print it, uh, I just ordered a dozen of them. They will be here tomorrow. So this is a thirty. Uh, it's a thirty-six page magazine with a mm -hmm. cover so correct cover is a little bit it's a more a, a, a cover stock it's thicker uh and then it's the uh, 36 pages inside this is not an inexpensive piece but it's also not something that breaks the bank either it's no a lazy uh, photo book. yeah this right here 36 pages is a little under seven dollars a piece okay which you know a lot of people uh, uh if you look at the per piece thing it doesn't sound like a lot uh but a lot of people say oh man you know if i if i need to order you know uh 50 of these that's a big chunk of change yeah it is but you're investing in your future you're investing in your company let's see 100 the of them at seven dollars a piece would be 700 dollars. right that's a half Which, day shoot on it on the cheap. That's correct. giving somebody a hell of a good deal on a half day shoot. So correct. you got to believe in yourself. You have to believe Absolutely. that you uh, that not only believe but you have it. to invest in yourself. You have to invest in yourself. Uh, uh, otherwise, you know, nobody else is going to invest in. You. That's that's the way I look at it. I I totally you know? totally agree. Well, I know you went through a couple of iterations, and I, I think you ended up with a very handsome, noble piece here, my friend. Really, really, really nice. Um, again, this is the cover, backside. Yeah. What, he, what he did throughout by telling clients, this is what I can do because this is what you need done. Mm -hmm. That's huge for small startups, maybe a machinery company or a uh, somebody working on, you know, medicine, medical and stuff. They don't know photographers. That's not their world. Right. Um, but now they've got somebody that, they, and you're right, they're going to keep it. They're not going to throw it away. Not going to throw it away. Right. Um, it's, it's, and nice. The, the nice thing is, you know, you, you tell them what you can do for them by telling them what you did for somebody else. Yep. All right. Uh, that's the one thing I, I did not want to do. I did not want to turn this into a, a hard sell. Uh, that that wasn't the intention for this particular piece. I want it to be a showcase of what I've done for others uh, with the hopes 
that they would see themselves in it. Uh, and in addition, I uh, or originally I had a lot more quote unquote articles uh, that you know were geared towards education. Um, but I, I took your advice and I dialed that down and turned it more into showcases, which, you know, uh, you were 100 percent right. It, it made the magazine that much stronger. Uh, and I kept it to just a couple little articles that are kind of helpful. Um, uh, one of them, you know, understanding the language of licensing, which is a lot of a lot of corporations, you know, don't understand that. You know, they think, oh, yeah, you know, I, I have uh, uh, full rights to the images, you know, so um, hopefully. Well, what, I, you know, what I tell photographers is you can negotiate all the usage rights you want. You can do unlimited buyouts if you want. I'm fine with that. But there's no reason in hell they need your copyright. And so for me, it's correct. non-negotiable. Well, I shouldn't say that. If they right. offer me a million dollars. You know, I'd bend. I'm, I'd bend well, the, back. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm just not that strong. <laughs> but no I, no, I hear you. I hear you. But the the one thing that I find is that uh, we have a certain language within our field, and if somebody's not in our field, they're they're not going to understand the language. So hopefully, by having an article that kind of explains a little bit about the language. When I start talking with them, they can say, oh, yeah, I understand. I follow what you're saying because I, I, I read up on it. Um, so in that respect, I want it to be a little bit of an education. But again, not so much that it's shoving stuff down people's throats. You know, it's there if they want to read it. And if they don't, you know, they can just gloss over it, you know. Um, but. I wanted to target a, a few things. Uh, one is uh, I'm getting more and more into uh, social media uh, photography. So I wanted to do a little piece on social media photography. And uh, what was the other one? Uh, five, uh, five image qualities for effective e-commerce listings. So again you know the kind of educate people on the power of why you need professional com commercial photography it so they can read reason. this it gives, gives them another reason to keep the magazine because there's info oh, and you're, on. You're, Absolutely. you're not you're, you're actually giving them information they could use with another photographer true which absolutely is, which is absolutely. which is part of the whole soft sell thing anyway so exactly yes Duck, it's a great piece. Thanks for coming on and uh, chatting with it. I, I look forward to talking with you uh, maybe in March of 2023, and we'll chat about how it's doing for you. Oh, yeah. yeah absolutely. absolutely. I'd, I, I'd I have, love to uh, let you know. I have no doubt it's going to do well. Thanks, Duck, for coming along. I appreciate it, man. My pleasure. And if anybody wants to ask me any questions about the project, you know, feel free to uh, contact me through, you know, the Project 52 Facebook group. Uh, I'm Fantastic. always on there. So. Fantastic. Thanks, man.